I gotta give a standing ovation to Season 5, Episode 2 of Samurai Jack. Oh. My. God, was that awesome! I mean, taking it from a guy who watched Samurai Jack as a kid with my dad to being a young adult, the level of violence that has multiplied with the new TV14 rating on Adult Swim is just off the charts. This episode was dark, it was serious, it was gory, it was everything. So, without getting, wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. I have a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about today. So, the episode starts off with Aku being delusional, kind of similar to how Jack has been delusional in the series thus far, as you see. Aku is kind of losing his willingness to kill Samurai Jack as he's talking to the scientists and they're like, you know what guys, if you want to go kill Samurai Jack, go ahead. Build this new beetle droid, I don't really care. And then right after, Aku kind of, you know, goes into his true feelings and he's talking to his Aku psychologist about all of the stuff going on with Samurai Jack. And must I mention that Aku's eyelashes are like in his drawer where he has like these fire eyelashes that he puts on which i thought was hilarious so they started off the episode by adding like the humorous elements of aku and the funny thing is samurai jack is such a serious show but yet aku makes it so corny and funny at the same time and we cut to samurai jack you know obviously venturing throughout the world on his motorbike when he encounters a beetle droid he easily takes it out but then he is ambushed by these deadly seven assassins. And the great thing that this episode did that was amazing, even more so better than the first one, is that it did a phenomenal job of making the battles throughout this episode take place in so many different locations. So you see, Jack starts off by fighting the beetle droid in the forest. And in contrast to that, you kind of see, you know, the wolf fighting against those two tiger-like creatures fighting at the same time as Jack, which to me symbolized the fact that Jack is an animal fighting against other more advanced animals the same way a wolf would be fighting other tigers in the forest. And the wolf was outnumbered similar to how Jack was outnumbered by these deadly assassins. So there was a lot of tension going on ever since the beginning of this episode. And as, you know, obviously as Jack is fighting you can see that he's struggling because he's definitely outnumbered by these deadly assassins and you see he goes into this little carcass where he's hiding and you see that Jack's conscious once again comes to light and this new Samurai Jack reboot starting with episode 5 has been really emphasizing how delusional Jack has been as we see him talking to himself you see that he's losing his mind and you see that his conscious is pretty much talking to him saying hey should you fight or should you not fight? And Jack is pretty much making this choice to himself. Do I get out of this carcass and run out into the open where I could be ambushed by these deadly assassins? Or do I pretty much sit here and wait to die anyways because they're eventually gonna find me? And he makes the choice and he runs out and he starts fighting them. And you can see he's struggling. Like Jack is not kicking ass and you know, he doesn't have his weapons. He is completely outnumbered. And then the fight went to another level when they went into the temple. This is where the episode was at its peak because all of the locations started becoming a lot more advanced. You see a scene where Jack is running and one of the assassins is fighting him while he's in the dark and they do a phenomenal job, kind of similar to Daredevil in the Marvel series, how Jack is fighting without even really being able to see. And you see how all of the choreography is taking place where he's like dodging all of these hits, just using his senses to obviously fighting against this assassin. And then the battle scene takes place once again and now you're seeing Jack fighting underwater with all of the assassins chasing him once he got out of the dark and you're seeing Jack like dodging all of these attacks while he's swimming and having to hold his breath. And he goes into this larger room and he's hiding in one of the crates. And the imagery in this scene was beautiful. As you see, the green firefly is like holding this light so Jack can see while all of the assassins are pretty much looking for him. 
and I just thought it was just greatly portrayed the way you see like the green firefly's light is slowly dimming and Jack is becoming more nervous because he's kind of like kind of losing it. He's like, I can't really be able to see all of these assassins are coming in. They're looking for me. I'm in this enclosed area. How am I going to get out of it? And you see the assassin with the club and she bangs it open and Jack flies into the air. And that scene with him in the coffin was just so beautifully executed because of the fact that like I've said before, Samurai Jack does a phenomenal job of showing characters act or obviously interact with each other without speaking. Like, it was just perfectly executed. And Jack ends up being cornered as he's trying to escape this temple, being outnumbered, and he fights one of the assassins. And guys, Jack fucking kills her. Now... For those of you who are not as familiar with Samurai Jack, Samurai Jack has not killed an actual person in the series so far. Jack has always been fighting, I guess you could say, zombie-like creatures or robots. For the most part, robots throughout the series. And this is a turning point. Now, Jack is so desperate that he's actually killing another human. And as we learn from the previous episode in episode one he got the sword from scaramouche uh, the merciless and that sword pretty much had this ability to where whatever it touches explodes so jack is pretty much using that to explode the temple after he was stabbed by the assassin that he killed he jumps out he bleeds out in the river an episode over and i just i just lost it guys like it, my words cannot describe how awesome this sequence was. The way they bring you through all of the different ways Jack has to fight, the way that the tension was building up where Jack is now outnumbered, Jack is now injured, Jack is bleeding out, Jack is fighting in the dark. Like, it was just so beautifully executed. And if there was any criticism I had of this episode, it would just be the fact that I wish Jack had more time to interact after actually killing that assassin. Obviously, they have a time constraint. They only have about 20-something minutes per episode, but I really felt that they kind of glanced over the fact that Jack just killed an assassin. Like, you could tell Jack wasn't obviously happy about doing it. He wasn't used to doing that. And I was just talking to Duct Tape, also known as Bob the Builder, also known as the Legendary. I was just talking to him about the episode, and he was saying, well, when you think about it, when you're outnumbered 7-1, to one, what chance do you really have? Like, you really can't make any decisions you have to fight because your life is endangered and i felt this episode really did a phenomenal job of showing the transition of the old samurai jack to the new jack where he has to kill other humans now and the fact that he almost sliced off her head was like wow like this is graphic and i just wish they had just did a little bit more emphasis on what jack had actually done but Overall, guys, I thought this episode was incredible. It was better than the first episode. Like, if you guys haven't seen, if you guys, you know, obviously have seen the first episode and you're watching this one, I'm sure most of us would agree this episode was better, especially in terms of action and as compared to the first one. It was great. There was more character interactions. There wasn't a lot of dialogue because obviously this show doesn't have a lot of talking. Most of the dialogue was really Aku at the beginning, but... I love this episode. I had a blast watching it. I cannot wait for the next episode of Samurai Jack. So, with everything else said, guys, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say, to have a great day, guys. And my goodness, was this a damn good episode. And check out my friend Jack's Blade, who will also be in a review later on talking about Samurai Jack.